guys, welcome back to another video with Karen Zima. Now today we're going to do something a little different. This is a dream painting. I painted it because I had a horrific nightmare that kept me up all night. And this guy was in my dream and he scared the bejesus out of me. And it was a very complicated dream. It's a story I want to tell you. If you have any dream interpretation books or you know anything, let me know. And write in the comments, you know, any interpretations you have, because I'd love to hear them. So, if you want to see how I created this and hear my crazy dream story, stay tuned, and I will let you know. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I brought my palette. We're not going to be using, like, a lot of bright, intense colors like I usually use, because it's uh, a white tiger. So, he's mostly either black stripes or dark brown stripes with white, but in the white, it's not going to be white white, I'm going to put the pinks and the blues and the yellows and the oranges, purples, you know, too, because that's the way I like the pink. Well, anyway, I'll show you the colors I put out. There's a pink, a baby blue, a purple, we have three different shades of brown, there's a dark, a medium, and a light, and I have some orange for tinges of the fur, and a black and a white, and we'll start with these, and I'll put more out as we go along. Brush. I don't know what it is, but got a little bit of point and it's black. So let's go ahead and put in just all baby blue for now. Just to fill it in. And the colors, they sink into the canvas anyway. I'm going to take a little bit of black. Mix a little of that blue in. Get this dark color. And we're going to go along the top shadowy part of this eye. Very stunning already. Just go all the way around. Tiger shaped eyes. Alright, he's getting spooky. I find it a little amazing that uh, I can paint him and he scared the bejesus around me last night. Alrighty, so we're putting in this nice green and black background. Just like in the dream. Very dark. Very dark indeed. I mean, we will have lighter spots, you know, like uh, so you can see a little bit of stuff in the cave. Well, anyway, in my dream, it was one of those end-of-the-world dreams, apocalypse, and I was by the ocean. I guess by the ocean because it's like my favorite place. I love the ocean. And everybody was running out of the water. They're just running from every direction, and they're going up this hill. And I figure, well, something, something's going on, uh, you know, and I tried to ask somebody what was going on, but they all spoke foreign language. I don't know what language it was, but anyway, so I just decided to follow them. I wonder if that's because I'm not not a born leader, I guess, just a follower. Well, anyway, so I'm following them, realizing they must know, because I don't, I don't know what's going on, so I'll just follow them. And they're all running up a hill, and they get to this uh, place, wasn't too far off, it looked like, it looked like a castle, 
from the sidewall. I'm back to night boots. That's all. So I go in there and we're walking. There's like many different pathways you can walk. And I see this lady sit down and take a break. So I sat down too to see if I could uh, ask her what was going on again. Give her another shot. And nope, she didn't know what I was saying. I had no idea. Huh. So uh, she gets up and starts moving. I figured, well, I better just follow the crowd. And like usual in my dreams, they all disappear. And I'm left by myself. So, no matter which way I went, there was no people. There was different hallways and paths. There were no people. It's like, I don't know what the right one is to do. And where is everybody? And so, I don't know, it keeps getting darker and darker. And then I finally sit down on this like, wall, maybe something like that. And then I realized there's a tiger, a white tiger staring at me. So, I try and get back out. And I did try and go down the same way I came in. And there were bars on the entrances. So I guess the way it turned out, the bars were for your safety because you couldn't go out at night because outside those bars were zombies. But I didn't know that. I didn't know what was worse, zombies or this, this tiger. So I squeezed out the bars. It took me a while. I'm not telling you. Tiny like it was years ago, but I uh, squeezed out the bars and got out. And that's when I found out it was better to be in. Being out was no good, because that's why the zombies and they were coming. <sighs> oh, my God. So, I figure after the zombies are after me, I'm try and get back in. Back in those bars. When I got back in, there was more than one tiger. It was loaded with them. Loaded. So I didn't know. I was torn between going out, trying to stay away from the zombies, or going in, staying with these white tigers. They were just sitting there staring at me like that. So. I figure, you know what? I gotta paint this. I think I should paint more of my dreams. Why not? I just have a bunch more crazy paintings, that's all. So, I don't know what you think of that dream, but or if you have or had anything similar, please let me know. Because that was um, pretty scary. So then, you know, you wake up at night and you're like, I gotta change this. I gotta, I gotta be smarter. I gotta change it. They don't speak foreign language at least, so I can ask them what's going on. I have some communication, and maybe they all don't disappear. So I try to change it. I fall back asleep. It is the same darn deal. No fun. So, you know, if you can think of what the, any of that means, you know, uh, let me know. Like, if you're like in the dream interpretation, so. And if you think it's a good idea that I paint 
paint my dreams like that, you can let me know that too. Uh, I have some good ones. <laughs> Come right along, you ugly tiger. That scared me out of a nice sleep. Alright, not bad. It's coming, coming, coming. Coming right along. Alright, so. That's a rock. Maybe we'll work on his paw. Or this fall. It's going to have a lot of purple and blues. We'll just make a purpley blue color. And you can pull out white tones from it. Oh, that's a pretty color. That's going to go in his eye. I am going to work on the eyes a little bit more later after the colors sink in because I want them piercing. I know how they are. They have piercing eyes. And blue paws. That's just an underlying color, like the shadow color. And it just kind of blend. So I'm going to get some white. You just make little indications of fur. Okay, guys, I did refresh my palette. Um, I'm not going to work on the background just yet. There's just going to be a couple like lighter tones in there. I'll work on the rock a little later. But what I put out was uh, basically the black, white, orange, three different tones of brown, a blue, and a purple, and kind of like a flesh color for underneath the fur, and red to work on his nose a little more. So, now, what brush do I want? What I'm going to do is probably put in the undertones of his flesh. And then we'll just start kind of working, working around it. This is just like putting a flesh tone underneath, and sometimes I like to add the purple and blue tones and give it variety and, uh, you know, just a little more depth. Alright, 
this is just her under chum. Yeah, I was just thinking a little more about my dream, and I think there's a lot of really kind of symbolic, symbolic stuff in there that I really wouldn't mind somebody putting it all together and making sense of it for me. Uh, just the fact that it was an apocalypse movie, end of the world, like some kind of disaster. I don't, you know, uh, don't really know, but being that everybody was running and everybody knew what was going on with me, it's just, um, I guess it's kind of like me. <laughs> Lots to know. Anybody's a lot to know, it's me. Even though I try to keep up with stuff. Let's get some of this color in here. Very lovely. Alright. I know white tigers for some reason. I didn't dream of a regular, regular tiger. Mine had to be a, a white tiger. So I do not know what that means, but... Uh, I don't know, white tiger is just, just beautiful, as long as it stays out of my hair, out of my way. I don't mind looking at them, but I don't want to get up close with them. Uh, so whatever white tiger means also, uh, I can know. And of course, a tiger has a lot of strength, besides its beauty. It is a powerful, powerful creature. And just the fact that it's white, with piercing blue eyes, makes it even more stunning, stunning to look at. And I am painting one, even though you scared me. Didn't let me sleep all night. So, and this is exactly what you look like. That stare. That pose. In the darkness. Yes, that's what it looked like. So, I am painting away with my dream. Painting, painting. Okay, so it was uh, an apocalypse. Apocalypse of some sort. End of the world. Or some disaster. Everybody knows but me. And they are all running up a hill. So, I'd imagine the hill has some kind of significance besides so just being a hill. I would just imagine I guess because it's an uphill battle of some sort. Alright, let's get some of these markings back in. And then we will kind of work on the fur and give it some texture. Not a stressful dream. Uh, I know people that don't have any bad dreams. None. It's like, what is wrong with those? Gotta have one once in a while. And in my case, maybe I have too many. So, let's say everybody's running. Where are they running to? Uphill. And out of the blue appears this really nice castle. But it was 
wasn't like you're going in the main entrance or anything. You were going in kind of like this underground, underground, uh, sneaky, sneaky kind of entrance. Like, uh, I don't know. It wasn't, it wasn't a really good entrance. Alright, you're gonna get more detail. And we're gonna get you looking a little more real and a little more spooky scary. Hopefully not too scary. Anyway, main thing is I'm alive, I lived. Can't be that bad. It's just a dream. Uh, trying to think of some more details. Oh, dream. Make it more interesting. Because there is got to be a reason why we paint stuff. And what I want to do is probably when I have more crazy dreams like that, I think I want to paint them. I want to paint them and. I don't know why I want to paint them, but uh, why the heck not? It's not to paint. Alright, that eye looks lazy and crazy. We're going to fix it. We're going to get it sparkling and, and spooky. So, really, tigers aren't that hard to paint. You can make stripes up as you go. None of them are, none of them are similar. Every tiger has different markings. And I don't know, guys. What do you think? Does he look scary? And I'm just putting in a little tiny fur strokes. And go in the direction of the fur. And it is a very tedious, tedious process. And there's really no way to get out of it. You just gotta put in the time and make those fur strokes. We are going to try and get them whiter, even though he's got many, many colorful tones all around them. We're going to just go over that with little strokes. Bring out the fur. Try and go in the direction of the fur. Where it would go in those spots. And this is probably where I'm going to speed this up. Now, I think I did lose part of my telling you the dream because I went back and I just kind of quickly listened. And actually, I got so into the dream telling you about it that I wasn't recording it. That stuff happens all the time. That's why, you know, sometimes there could be chunks missing because I get so wrapped up in the painting process that I forget it shut off ten minutes ago. 
I only get 10 minutes at a time with this camera. It's not like I can constantly run it. I mean, eventually I'll find a better solution. You know, because, like I said, I am kind of forgetful. Getting some nice fur on him. Spooky thing here. Now who's got control? Huh? Now who's got it? I can make you ugly if I want. Or I can make you pretty. I got all the control. So how about that type of that? Yeah, we're gonna have to give you a name too. I don't know what kind of name you want. Give you any name you want. Just don't come back in my dreams again. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Tedious, tedious creature for my dream. One that requires a lot of work. And then we'll put some spots back in them because some, some spots are getting faded out. You know, even though he's kind of realistic, he's not really with all these colors coming out of him. It's not that, not that real. I'm mean, definitely going to have to speed this up because it is very tedious.
Let that get a look. I'm happy with it. I'm going to give it a thumbs up and call it quits. That is my tiger dream. In fact, I think that's what I call it. Dream tiger, tiger dream, something like that. Not sure yet. I might think about it a little longer. And I might come back and put a little more detail in this fur. Not sure, but I'll let it dry and see how it goes. So, I hope you enjoyed. I hope my dream didn't scare you. But if I have another dream that's, you know, or a story to go with my painting, I'm going to tell it. So stay tuned if you want to hear more stories and more dreams. And let me know what you thought in the comment. And if you have any dream interpretations, don't hesitate whatsoever to let me know. So, until next time, keep on practicing and bye-bye.